Hey buddy, Northwest Cavalryman here, and today we're going to be reviewing a PX4 Storm in my series of my top 12 9mm pistols ranked from 1 to 12. So, uh, this uh, firearm, of course, is uh, empty. It's been proven safe prior to the video. And this is my PX4 Storm. This uh, particular PX4 Storm has a GD clocker. Uh, Actually, I've set it up like that after the fact. So the decocking lever on the side does not stay down, which I prefer. So let's talk about this pistol. Uh, I think it's a very underrated pistol. I think that people who, uh, a lot of people have refused to review it or don't like to review it because, you know, a lot of people don't think it looks all that great. However, um, I kind of like the looks of it. I don't mind the looks of it at all. It uh, looks a little bit... Um, well, possibly futuristic. Now, I do know a lot of people who absolutely hate this pistol. And that's because they have the double action only with a very heavy long trigger pull. And those people generally are law enforcement, uh, the Canadian Border Agency. Uh, they have these pistols and uh, most of the people I know who shoot those pistols absolutely hate them. However, this is not a double action only this is a double single action so let's get into reviewing this pistol right now so on a scale of 1 to 12 let's rank the components and the functionality of this pistol using about 15 points of comparison to my other pistols so the original trigger pull on this firearm was approximately 10 pounds 8.8 ounces so that would be about 10 and a half pounds but I've lowered the the trigger pull and I put in a, uh, a very light spring and it uh, brought it down substantially but uh, afterwards I put in a Langdon competition trigger kit which actually increased the poundage of the first uh, pull of the trigger and the current trigger pull on this firearm is 8 pounds 7 ounces now the single action so the second and subsequent uh, pulls of the trigger that is actually fairly good that comes down to four pounds 1.1 ounces so I like that trigger pull quite a bit so as far as the original trigger pull I'm going to give that a five five points out of 12 so it's right in the middle of the pack and for the current trigger pull I'm going to give that four points out of 12 the the double action uh, four points out of 12 because there are some pistols even though it's a better pull of that trigger I've been able to make uh, my, some of my other pistols a lot better than that as well so I'm going to give this four out of 12 now the second subsequent pull the single action trigger pull on this I'm going to actually give 10 points out of a possible 12 because it's just that good so let's talk about the trigger feel for the trigger feel, I'm actually only going to give that 3 points out of 12. Even though I like the trigger feel, I do have a lot of firearms that have a better trigger feel. So, when I pull this, it almost feels like a kind of a hollow. It's not gritty at all, but it almost feels, I don't know, there's, there's something about it. It doesn't feel all that solid, but uh, that's probably just me. So, I'm going to give this 3 out of a possible 12 for the trigger feel. Now the trigger reset, after the first pull of the trigger, the slide obviously comes back and this has a pretty good reset of the trigger. It comes out about that far and there's not much take up afterwards. It just comes almost right back. And it uh, is ready to go again. So the trigger reset, that's right in the middle of the pack as well. Because of my other firearms, I'm going to give that 6 out of 12. The trigger consistency, that only gets a 2. Now, uh, that's because there, most of my other firearms have a better uh, consistency in the trigger. And because this is a double single action, of course, it uh, gets lowered, on, lowered down the list because of that as well. So that gets a 2 out of 12. Now the grip texture, that also gets a 2 out of 12. If you, if you notice, I have some grip tape on here. This is Talon grip tape, and it's the most aggressive grip tape. 
Now, uh, I really like an aggressive uh, grip tape, especially if I'm going to use my firearm for competition. This, uh, this grip, in my opinion, well, it, it, it's not very good at all. It's uh, very slick on the sides. It does have some texturing on the back and on the front, but on the sides, not that much at all. So I put this extra grip tape on it, and I really think it's good. I also put the the extended back strap on it because I do like the way the extended back strap really fills up my hand and I can get a really good purchase on that firearm. So the uh, extended back strap with the Talon uh, almost skate tape uh, grip tape on this firearm, that's what I prefer. But the original uh, grip on this, I'm only going to get 2 out of 12. The controls. I do like the controls of this firearm. Now, as I said before, it does have a slide mounted decocker. Now, this is a decocker only because I have re I have modified it to be such. If it was a decocker and a safety, I wouldn't like it so much. Um, but uh, it is a decocker only, so I can decock it quite safely, and I can run the slide either in the back or on the front, and that just decocks the hammer. So the slide lock slide release, I like that. It's nice and big. I can hit that really easily with my thumb as I'm coming up doing a reload. I like that how, uh, how big it is. I, I, I do like the way it's set back. I can avoid resting my strong thumb on it. I can avoid resting my the, uh, the back of my my weak thumb on it so it's not going to prevent it from locking back on the last shot so I do I do like that so some of the things I don't like uh, about these uh, controls is I don't like the takedown levers they're reset now they're better than a Glock because uh, you can get a hold of them a lot uh, better but the reset of the the takedown levers really don't like that. I like uh, a little bit more substance there so I can grab onto them, but they do function well. Also, one of the things I don't like about this uh, firearm, as far as the controls, is, is the magazine release. Now, magazine release, this is the, I put the biggest one on that came with the firearm, and it functions okay, but I find that Sometimes, if I'm running it fast, I uh, I do have to uh, work to get it. it I, in my opinion, the bigger one, which I put on, could be just a little bit bigger than that. It could could be uh, uh, a little bit easier to hit, especially when I'm running the firearm fast. Uh, and it seems to be that I have to drop my thumb just a little bit more than normal. Now that could be me just me and and that's fine but I do uh, those are the two things I don't really like about the controls but I can I can run this gun fairly well so I'm going to give the controls on this firearm 9 out of 12 compared to the rest of my firearm so it is still fairly high uh, even though I'm not really fond of, of those two elements of the controls ergonomics I'm also going to give that a 9 out of 12 I find that I can get a very very good grip on this firearm now that I have the grip tape on it and it functions well in my hand so it feels comfortable and I can get a really high grip on it and uh, can really manage that recoil well. So the weight of this firearm actually gets 8 points out of a possible 12. It comes in at 750 grams. That's 1.656 pounds. 26.45 ounces. So it's uh, a little bit better than middle of the pack and it's uh, one of my lighter firearms I must say because they're kind of all stacked up right there about that uh, level. It does have an optic on top so that does increase the weight a little bit. However, some of my other firearms that come in lighter than this also have an optic on top. Recoil management. Well, recoil management is actually pretty good with this gun. It, uh, I can control the recoil on this gun quite well. It, uh, 
it comes in about 11 out of 12. Um, I think that has a lot to do with the uh, rotating barrel uh, design on this. It, uh, I seem to be able to come back on target fairly well. The barrel does rotate when it first comes back. That gets the barrel out of the way so the slide can come back. So I do believe that this is, uh, is a good design for this pistol and uh, I, I am uh, able to manage the, the recoil quite well on this gun. Now shootability. I'm going to give this a 9 out of a possible 12. I can run this gun fairly well, shoot it fairly well. Uh, so it's quite high on the list, but I, there are no ties, so I have to place this somewhere. And uh, some of my other pistols are sh basically more shootable than this, or I, uh, I do shoot them better than this. So uh, I'm going to rank this, or, or sorry, I'm going to give this 9 points out of 12. Historical significance, there's not a lot of historical significance in this firearm. Uh, it was, it um, has, a, I guess, a little bit of historical significance because of the use of the rotating barrel, but it's not the first and it won't be the last that has a rotating barrel in it. Uh, so I'm going to rank it fairly low and uh, I'm going to give this four, possible four points out of a possible 12. Personal preference, um, yeah, it's right in the middle of the pack. I'll, uh, I really enjoy shooting this gun. I'm going to grab this over some of my other guns to go to the range, and uh, it's going to come in quite a bit less or lower on the list than some of my other guns. So I'm going to give that seven points out of a possible 12. And then aesthetics, of course, I already said I like the looks of this gun. A lot of people don't, but I do have a lot of other firearms that I like the looks of better. I'm going to give this three points out of a possible 12. That's going to give it a ranking of six on my pistols of one to 12. So uh, it's right in the middle of the pack with 92 points. So thank you for watching this uh, video. And of course, as always, I'm going to tell you that uh, I am going to be ranking all of my pistols one to 12 in a later video, but this is a reference video so that you can uh, determine or know, know just how I came up with that rating, why I put it where it is, and uh, maybe it'll help you out in judging whether or not you want to purchase one of these firearms. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Northwest Cavalry Man here and if you enjoyed this video or any of my vi videos please click subscribe and like. Thank you very much and I hope to see you next time.